Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a great day. In this video, I want to read an article here that was just released. Iran legalizes crypto mining. And there's a few other things I want to show you guys, whether different countries are friendly to crypto mining or not, and as well, different perspectives on crypto mining itself. So uh, let's go through Iran first. Okay, so on Coindesk.com, they released an article saying Iran legalizes crypto mining. And I'm going to put quotations legalizes, okay? Uh, let's, go through, let's go through the article here. Iran is officially recognizing cryptocurrency mining as an industry within its borders. According to the Iranian government, an economic commission approved crypto mining on Sunday, with the government now looking for ways to regulate this activity within its existing legal structure. So, hence, regulate. <laughs> A mechanism to mine digital coins was approved by the government's economic commission and will be later... Uh, be put to discussion at a cabinet meeting. Uh, similarly, Deputy, Deputy, Minister, Deputy Minister Energy for Electricity and Energy, I can't say his name, uh, said government ministers will vote on measure to approve an electricity rate for mining farms. Okay, so I think this electricity rate for mining farms, I know uh, Iran isn't the first to do that. I know that Canada has also been doing that. Uh, but I'll show you guys something on that later. Uh, the Iranian government has been facilitating on whether to approve of mining as an industry or not the last month. Uh, two mining farms were seized and shut down by authorities. Okay, wow, I didn't know that. So let's actually, I just want to see that for a second here. Iranian authorities shut down two crypto mining farms. Okay, so, well, well that, was a, that was a month ago, but now it looks like they have legalized it. Interesting. Uh, Harry has also been quoted in the past saying the government should not subsidize crypto mining efforts. However, the region has long been attractive to miners due to cheap electricity rates available. Great, great. Okay, not too much longer, longer here, guys. Let me just read through this. Uh, crypto usage. While crypto mining appears to have been given a tentative green light in Iran, it is unclear whether officials are changing the stance on using cryptocurrencies for domestic payments. And if so, how? The central bank re recommended barring crypto usage for domestic payments at the end of January, though local industry stakeholders are pushing back against such a ban. Two Iranian nationals remain only individuals to be placed in onto the U.S. State Department Office of Foreign Asset Control uh, sanctions list for Bitcoin activities specifically. Uh, last year, yada yada yada, for their alleged roles in facilitating payments, uh, while Gore, <laughs> Gorbanian admits to facilitating these payments, he claims he was not aware of the funds. All right, so not much, not much rest, not much info, uh, other than looks like they are planning to regulate this uh, crypto mining activity uh, in Iran. Okay, so interesting. Um, they also did. There was an article a day before saying uh, on Coin Telegraph saying Iran has not issued any licenses for importing crypto mining equipment. So I wonder how that's going to go. Okay, now I want to tie that into um, other countries. So, you know, Canada, I'm from Canada, and there has been some regulatory stuff that has been set in place for, for crypto mining. And the province of uh, uh, Quebec, okay, for example, they uh, the company, uh, I can't say, I, I can't really speak French well, but I'm going to try here. Rege de l'Energie has ordered power producer Hydro-Quebec to allocate 300 megawatts uh, to the blockchain industry. Okay, This 300 megawatt will be in addition to the 158 megawatts already granted to existing customers uh, approved by Hydro-Quebec and to 210 megawatts uh, granted to existing customers approved by municipal distributors. Okay, so this was, uh, when was this? April 29th, 2019. So about a couple months ago. So, you know, Canada has been very friendly to crypto miners. And, you know, we have been, people that live here and people that have been bringing business here has actually been pretty big. There's There's been uh, a, a couple of different companies such as uh, Hot8, 
and uh, some other bit farms. There's a bunch of companies, big companies, uh, Bitcoin companies that are in Canada already. And um, there's a little, uh, I guess, a little tiny demograph here from Cointelegraph. Uh, look, Canada in 2018, they mentioned crypto friendly with mining operators able to apply for favorable electricity rates, which I can definitely uh, say our electricity rate in Canada is pretty low uh, for home users as well, but even lower for uh, big crypto mining farms. And then there's USA. It looks like in the USA, I don't know much about the USA, but I know a lot of there's a lot of crypto mining people in the US. And it says here, Pitt Plattsburgh banned crypto mining in the area. Plattsburgh? Is that Pittsburgh? I'm not sure. Uh, Bitbo Bitcoin regulated as a commodity. Mining is unregulated except for Plattsburgh, New York. Okay, interesting. Uh, Iceland and Czech Republic cryptocurrency and mining is unregulated. Um, I think there's a lot of cryptocurrency going on, uh, cryptocurrency mining going on in those countries. Uh, like Genesis Mining, Iceland, I think. Uh, Russia, the use of Bitcoin for payments is... Um, illegal reports that miners could face fines in Russia. Okay, interesting. Uh, China, 2017, institutional ban on crypto trading, reports of mining, mining ban. Obviously, China is still mining because we can see a lot of uh, crypto miners in China. So that's definitely not there. And, and Iran, 2019, this might be an old article or demograph here, plans to cut off electricity supply uh, to miners due to large demand. But... As of this article just released, as of making this video today, uh, Iran <laughs> legalizes crypto mining. So, good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Okay, so you guys saw that. Depending on what country you're in, you can see that uh, you're, I would say most countries are pretty, I would say, unregulated. And there's really not much stuff uh, to really ban crypto mining. Because how, do how, how does one government even go about banning that kind of thing? I mean, looking at the electricity usage, maybe, I don't know, that's really hard to gauge on the millions of people uh, that are, you know, crypto mining, how do they, how are they going to ban that kind of thing? It's, it's really hard to regulate that kind of thing. Anyways, guys, there, it's, it's a fun thing. I mean, it's a, it's an interesting thing uh, that's ha happening in the next, you know, couple years. And I mean, crypto mining has been around since what, 2009. So take a look at that. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to end off with another perspective that with crypto mining being somewhat becoming regulated, it's it's cool to see that there are a lot of companies uh, being uh, making hardware for crypto mining. So uh, you you guys all know as as GPU miners, we love the ASRock BTC H110 Pro BTC Plus board, and you know ASRock is a huge company that makes uh, computer parts and uh, we, we've seen it time and time again it's not just ASRock you know there's ASUS as well uh, ASUS has their mining export board um, a gigabyte gigabyte is also heavily invested into uh, making crypto mining boards you guys all know I have a bunch of the gigabyte mining boards and as you can see they have a bunch of different motherboards that support um, in the in the BIOS for crypto mining so like they have a specific BIOS mining mode, which will enable 4G decoding and, you know, enable the uh, PCIe 1, uh, Gen 1 or Gen 2, depending on what uh, application, what miner, what software you use, what OS, all that kind of stuff. And uh, a gigabyte is, is a huge support for crypto mining, in my opinion. Um, there was a motherboard that actually wasn't supported on the gigabyte website. And I actually contacted the Gigabyte support, uh, the motherboard um, developers, and they were able to edit a, a BIOS for me. Uh, it was a Z270 SLI board, and they were able to make a custom BIOS for me, and they sent me that BIOS. And uh, yeah, I, I was amazed that Gigabyte motherboard uh, developer was able to edit the BIOS for me to make it work uh, for crypto mining. So. <laughs> if any of you guys ever have a gigabyte board that needs a BIOS to be edited, you can just, you can just contact them and they'll do that for you. That's that's just seriously awesome for gigabyte uh, to do. And you can, you guys can see here they have a web page dedicated to um, uh, mining motherboards and the the BIOS support. And you can download the different BIOSes for them right here. 
and uh, you know Sapphire as well. Sapphire is a heavy, uh, heavy company invested into uh, crypto mining GPUs. Uh, they don't do motherboards, but they do GPUs, um, such as the RX 470 mining mining card. This has been out for years, and then they have the new one recently, the 16 gigabyte uh, blockchain <laughs> blockchain RX 570, which is meant for Grin. It's not it's not meant for anything else. It's mainly meant for Grin mining. And uh, what else is there? That you know, Asus has the P106 uh, P106 mining cards. I think Gigabyte has these as well. Zotac has the mining cards as well. Um, it's not just it's not just Asus. Uh, EVGA also has the mining cards. You know, the P104s. And uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of different um, in, uh, computer companies, huge computer companies um, from China, from Taiwan, from Japan. Are heavily uh, like invested into these uh, crypto mining hardware, so it's it's cool to see you know where it's just not it's not just countries being pro or you know trying to regulate or being uh, trying to legalize crypto mining, uh, recognizing crypto mining as a business, but um, it's it's also big companies as well recognizing uh, crypto mining as a uh, as an asset to the industry and. Um, uh, to finalize off, guys, I just want to end off. Uh, if if you by chance want to buy a uh, a P104 mining card, uh, Nerd Gears has them for sale right now. So for two hundred and twenty four dollars uh, USD, uh, it's a two ninety five Canadian, but uh, two twenty four USD for the P104 uh, cards, which can be unlocked to eight gigabytes because they have the GDDR5X memory. And uh, yeah, uh, I, I just I, I approve of these cards. They they seem to be pretty good for crypto mining, and uh, good price right now. Uh, I'm not sponsored by Nerd Gears in this video, but uh, I I'll show them anywhere anywhere I can if you guys are interested in buying it. Uh, so link down below if you guys are interested. And uh, yeah, so perspective guys, uh, crypto mining seems to be. Um, on the up and up in my opinion and it's it's not going anywhere it's been around for about 10 years now and with it's interesting if Iran is talking about legalizing it and Canada has been pretty pro uh, pretty friendly uh, with crypto mining so um, hopefully other countries will come about and doing that and uh, it's just interesting to see that so let me know what you guys think I appreciate you guys for watching smash that like button all that good stuff and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you think and have a good one guys. Peace out.